Television dude. Hunter. And we have some pickups. Right. Too many. A lot of records. Some movies. CDs. Uh, uh, one game, some computer games, maybe. Yeah. But uh, mainly about records. Yeah. But the main thing here is uh, went to a record store. Uh, we we just went for went for the records, but they had a, a turntable set up. Yeah. And I've been wanting a new record player for quite some time. Mine really sucks. I might try to get it off of you since you're using that one. And uh, I didn't want to spend no money. I didn't want to spend this kind of money today. Didn't want to spend this yeah. kind of money. But I was too tempted, and it was a whole setup here. And don't worry about the sleeves. We had, we, we're doing a, a retake of this video. Yeah. But it was an Audio Technica LP60, which technically was not the one I wanted. I wanted the 120. Because I figured it was superior quality. This was the budget one, but it still got great reviews on Amazon. Oh, I'm sure. Even for being the bottom of the line Audio Technica. You know, it's the worst. you know that Crosley I have? Yeah. That was $80. Really? Yeah. So it was this plus a Sony receiver, which does DTS. It can do MP3. Uh, and two speakers, which I know nothing about. KLH. KLH? Yeah. Is it an H or an M? That's an H. KLH. Never heard of that brand. But he demoed it for us in the store. He actually went to the trouble of putting on a couple records. And it sounded great. It sounded great. Compared to what I have, it oh, sounds great. Yeah. My computer speakers are pretty damn good. for their, their budget speakers, but they're the best budget speakers. But you don't know if it was speakers or it could be your turntable. could be my turntable, but uh, he demoed this. It sounded great. And it's a good, somewhat good brand, Audio Technica. Uh, here, those are the way to go. And I paid after tax... 175 but not i mean the turntable is what 100 new yeah so it's it, it, turntable is 100 new it, it looked better when i saw the 160 and, and i forgot about the tax but didn't think about tax yeah well, let's well. get going here uh uh the free bin had some classical music like uh mozart, mozart and some of the other it was like there was in a free bin outside one of the record stores and it's all about classical music uh, we got here. It's uh, Chicago for two bucks. You good said one. you said it was a good one. Yeah, that's a good album. Because I wanted the gold, good Chicago. Country Joe and the Fish the, uh, contains full color fish game, complete with instructions. I don't know if that's in here. I think it is in there. Well, it is in there. Nice. It says the Jabberwock. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Wow. Now you're really mad that I passed yeah, it Because it's got a song that he did at Woodstock, the fix in the die rag. I still wow. prefer a song next up is Vietnam, but... Yeah, I don't think that's on here. Oh, man. This is like nice. Game. Yeah. That's amazing. Pretty cool. Was I showing that off good? Yeah. Okay, what I'll put that, that back in there two later. Bucks? Yeah, it was two bucks. We got the Rolling Stones Flowers, which we haven't figured out if it's a greatest hits... Or a studio album. I think yet. it's a great either. That's a great sense or the one I have in the greatest sense. But it's got Ruby Tuesday, have you seen your mother's Mama's uh, not over. Standing in the yeah, let's spend the night together. Good compilation. Yeah, well whatever. It was for uh four bucks, uh, it's like I don't have any stones on record, so I don't have any either. A Janice Joplin, which I don't know the exact name of this album when I bring it out. Is it does yeah. it say that? Yeah, probably. Uh I got uh, I got them old cosmic blues again, Mama. Okay. And I heard the song Cosmic Blues one time, and it's really good. Plus, it's got the Work Me Lord, which he did at Woodstock. Oh, did you, was that the one? Another Woodstock connection. Okay. Hooked on Classics, which I already own, but mine is warped, yeah. and it won't play. So, I want to I want to hear it. It's surprising. It's a buck. Good. And Heart, Little Queen, which I'm not the biggest Heart fan, but I love the song Barracuda, and that's on here. Never for Magic Man. Well, whatever. But not bad. Uh, might as well get to this one real quick. What is that? Uh, uh, Elvis in person at the International Las Vegas Hotel. Yeah. I love Elvis. Yeah, you're welcome. And it's live. This was the McKay stuff now. Well, we're kind of going out of order here. Yeah. Because he's going to show his stuff off. Meatloaf for three bucks. Bad great, Out of Hell. Great album. Great album. I have it on CD. I do too. But I have it on record. is amazing. I have CD and record. Grease. <laughs> I already had this one, so. I like, I like the movie. It's not bad. I have it on CD. Do you? Yeah. You know, West Side Story. Yeah. Comes with a poster too, but I don't want to like get it out. Or some kind of book. Yeah, some sort of pamphlet thing. I like the movie. I've actually never seen it. 
We don't know what the heck this is. Yeah, we couldn't quite figure out what it was. For 95 cents. We were, uh, we're going to find out. Uh, Randy Man Warmer. It looks ridiculous. This looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. You're going to put it on your turntable and it's just going to be done. Susie found a weapon. Uh, frightened by the lights. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. Yeah. If it sucks, I paid a dollar. Pavarotti's greatest hits. Pretty what cool. the hell? Pretty cool. Look, Pavarotti. Opera. Yeah. Gotta get your opera on. Yeah. Billy Joel, the piano man. Yeah. Which, which should be his. Is it his debut? No. It's not his debut? I don't think so. The piano man. If you go on his greatest hits, it's like the first song on the album. The piano man. I don't think that's his debut. It might be. Hell, I know. It's got Captain know. Jack. Captain Jack, awesome. That might be his debut then. I'm not sure. Whatever. Pretty sense. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got Crossroads, the soundtrack to the movie, which surprisingly, supposedly, I'm reading it, does not have the battle at the end. Which is horseshit. But it's still going to be a great album. Oh, yeah. Because the songs in the movie are good. Oh, yeah, really good. He got that one out from under me, too. Yeah, he was in the wrong section. Yeah. Well, I wish I had my other uh, Dash Lapoon's album out. Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd like to show them side by uh, side. Yeah. You probably can't find it, can you? Probably not quick. Police Academy. <laughs> four. Academy four. I bought this just for 50 cents joke thing, but it, it's I couldn't help it. It's interesting. Couldn't help it. I don't have a single song. Yeah, neither do I. It does have the LA Dream Team, which is the, the group that does LA uh, Dream Teams in the house. Yeah, I know the song. Here's my National Lampoon's uh, Radio Dinner. Radio Dinner. I don't know if uh, the same famous artists are on this one like the other one. The other one was hilarious. Yeah, the other one was hilarious. It was dirty. It was raunchy. So maybe this one will be just as good? Yeah. Paid a little more for that one. but. And that's that bag. So uh, should we, let's see what we got here. This this was out of the free bin. Uh, should I just uh, get my stuff? Yeah. Will this be all my stuff, I think? Yeah, it should be. I think all this is mine. The record sleeves were... Four, five for a dollar. But I paid ten bucks for 10 fifty bucks. of them. Yeah, we got ten bucks for it. For fifty of them, yeah. he said five for a dollar. Yeah, I know. Even though the sun I finally out. have airplane. I didn't have airplane, yeah. but I've seen it uh, so many times. Never bought it. Never bought it. But I've been meaning to buy it. Dollar ninety five. Rain Man, which I don't think I own yet. I haven't seen it on your show. Yeah, I don't think I have it, but it's a dollar ninety five. Even if I have it, mine it's doesn't have the slip case, and that's awesome. There you go. We're right on time here. Yeah. yeah. Almost getting out halfway here. Round halfway. Naked Gun, two and a half. I don't even own the first one, but I've seen the first one. haven't seen the second one. I haven't seen any of them. Apocalypse Now Redux, which I don't know why it's Redux. I can't remember what they did to it, but it's the old Vietnam movie. Classic. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this was in the free bin. Well, well there will be some more. I uh, took a chance on Nerf Herder. I know they sing the song Van Halen, and I don't know anything else, but Dream Theater. You're welcome. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stuff you guys say you're welcome to, too. Yeah. Don't want to hear it. This is uh, this is the... Uh, I have this on tape. This? Is that, yeah. is that the one you have? The soundtrack, The Little Shop of Horrors. Mad about that one. Yeah, it's great. It's got the dentist. It's got Feed Me. <laughs> That's my or, favorite one. Yeah. yeah. I like Feed Me. Skeel, I Wish. I, I've heard the one song, I Wish, which I like. It's an old rap song from the uh, 90s. Probably the 90s. But I didn't have a uh, 96, it says. Yeah. I, didn't, I never heard anything else. Uh, why not? I, I do that a lot. Yeah. Uh, Kitty. Oh, Kitty. Who, uh, this is an older album of theirs. It's metal. Girl metal. It's interesting. Pavarotti again. <laughs> oh, you bought that? Pavarotti Live. 1961 to 66? What does that mean? Was he, was he singing back then? I guess. I don't know if he was that old. I guess he was. But it says live. It, this was fifth dollar. Why not? I own this back in the nineties. Ultimate Dance Party. I own that back in the nineties. It's got a bunch of hits. We can't go through them. We're right. running out of time. Uh, this was we a. Don't uh, know what this is. We don't know what this is, but it was for a dollar. Yeah, look cool. It says cusses. The cover looks awesome. Could the inside looks awesome, and it could be terrible. And there's another one that we uh, for a dollar. Why not? The Tales from the Slippage Bucket. I almost bought it. They had two of them. I almost bought the other oh one. Oh my god, this could be terrible. But it's sealed. It's rare. Well, it's probably horrible. We're going to listen to it. It's probably horrible. Uh, soundtrack to Pulp Fiction. <laughs> it's 
was mad about that one too. Uh, I didn't buy Dire Straits. How the heck into my bag? I didn't buy it either. It came out of my car. Well, I guess I own that. Oh, okay. I guess you came out of your car. Yeah, it was in my bag. So. Uh, free games. Game of Life. Uh, Lost. I didn't even see if they had this or them or anything. I just grabbed them. Free. Free. Scrabble. Use them as cases. And Monopoly. Now it's your stuff. Uh, if we got time to go through all these. Uh, yeah, five minutes. I'll try. Quadrophenia. Three bucks. And there's a poster inside. And there's a, I don't, it's like a book. Finishing up the Who collection. Soundtrack to Deliverance. Haven't seen it, but I know that scene. Probably good. Dark Side of the Moon for 50 cents. Kind of rough, but probably still better than mine. Insights on the presidency from the presidency themselves. I don't know. Could be cool. Face value. It's the worst cover ever. Alan Parsons. That's for Sam, because I don't think I'll listen to that one. John Cougar. Uh, Peter Chris. His uh, solo album. So now I have two of the four, and you still need Gene and Paul. And you think this might be their debut, but you're not sure. I think this not is, sure. I don't know if it's their debut, but it's got to be. I, I said he had Strutter on it. Yeah, which came out really early, so. We don't really know. I'll look it up later. Uh, Paul Hardcastle, 19. Yeah, go screw yourself. Yeah, Rob's jealous about that one. Ted Nugent, Scream Dream. Mecco, Encounters of Every Kind. Really glad to get that. Still looking at the damn Star Wars one I got screwed out of. Porno. And, yeah, gay <laughs> porn. What's hey, it called? Nah, nah, hey, hey, kiss him goodbye, Steam. Okay. We're running out of, we got, we got like uh, three minutes left. I'll so I'll try. President of the United States of America. Friend soundtrack. That's my girlfriend. The Proclaimers. That's from my girlfriend, too. Uh, the Baddest of George Thurgood. I have that myself. Maybe I'll like it. What was this? Oh, Audio Slave. I know one song and I like it, so maybe the rest of the CD will be good. Could be horrible. Uh, Doctor Feel Good. If I don't already own it, I'm jealous. Cause I can't remember if I own it or not. I have it on cassette. Uh, Maroon Five. Guilty. What was this? Oh, Duran Duran. Decade. You said it was the greatest hits, right? Yeah, I have that. My I have it on cassette. Oh, free game out of the bin. <laughs> oh, free game. Diner Dash. Diner two. Dash Two. I like that game. Uh, Metallica. Black album. Didn't have it. Probably not gonna listen to it, but need it for the set. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Satriani. Uh, which one is this? A little jealous over that because I don't have any, any Satriani. I think I have three now. Uh, Ace really solo album on CD. I have it on record, now I have it on CD. Uh, at the drive in, re uh, what is this? Re Relationship Command. I know you've never heard of them, but great band. Food Fighters? I cannot remember if I had Two minutes, one. two minutes. I can't remember when I have that right, I'll be done in like 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Fine Young Cannibals. Shout out to Rob for this one. The Raw and the Cooked. And for my girlfriend, <laughs> Bring Me the Horizon. I'm not going to listen to that. And for my girlfriend, Avril Lavigne. And the one game that I bought for 15 bucks, complete, Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi 3. I don't know what it's going for nowadays, but I'm sure it's still 40 bucks. Probably 30 to 40. Maybe. Yeah, Got to yeah. be somewhere around there. So not too bad. And I'm really stoked to play some records on my new turntable, which is probably not really new. It's he said he used it a couple times. He used it a couple times. To play 45s. But he was trying to get rid of stuff. I think it's a great deal. Yeah, I do too. Whether it technically is a great deal or not, it's hard to say. Well, but I needed something. And you got it. And I got it. So I don't know if those are good speakers. I don't know if it's the best receiver. It sounded good when he, did, when he it played it. It sounded good, yeah. And as long as it sounds good, he said it won't scr the, the, this record player won't scratch your records. I even read that on Amazon. Did you? So it's a good record player. Just might not be as good as the 120. But maybe maybe if I maybe Down you can maybe you can replace the stylus and the I mean the uh, stylus and the cartridge and get something better. It's possible. If you if you think it's not going to sound good. But I am happy. So I guess that's it. So that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching.